All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go. Mr. Telefero TV, it's almost NBA 2K time of the year. So we got to go through these rankings, man. We got to go through. They released the top 10 players at each position. And the reason why I'm doing this, it's partially because I'm going to be on Twitch on NBA 2K 18 a lot coming up. So I want to go ahead and promote my Twitch channel as much as possible. But more or less, it's an NBA element to it. We're seeing how... 2k views how good players are so again we could bring it full circle and just talk nba basketball with this i thought this was an interesting conversation i want to, to note this before i read these lists off we're going to do these rate ratings they're not putting in the factor or they're not factoring in if a guy's injured or not so keep that in mind they, they're, they're doing this as if, if everybody's healthy so keep that in mind we're going to go through these positions and read off these guys all right let's start out at the center position let's start there and let we'll go from the bottom up all right the first snub that i noticed al horford is not on the top 10 centers list that might be a snub i'm not 100 percent sure you'd be the judge of that but let's go ahead and read the names off at number 84 overall 84 miles term again this is their rating not that they're ranked 84 but this is his rating he's 84 followed by andre drummond at 85 joel Embiid at 86 DeAndre Jordan at 87, um, Hassan Whiteside at, at 87, we got Rudy Gobert at 88, we got Nikolai Jokic, Jokic at 88 for the Portland Trailblazers, we got Marcus Hall at 89, we got Carl Anthony Towns at 91, and we got DeMarcus Cousins at 92. The first thing I noticed here is I don't know if DeAndre Jordan is more talented than Joel Embiid. So when, I, when they're putting this rating together, I'm just thinking about things. Joel Embiid, he's not as good of a dunker as DeAndre Jordan, but I think he's closer to DeAndre Jordan in dunks than DeAndre Jordan is closer to him at post moves or anything like that. DeAndre Jordan may be an edge defensively uh, for right now, but if Joel Embiid can stay healthy, I think he'll clean it up soon. I don't know about DeAndre Jordan that high at 87. You can put the brother in the gym overnight, and if you tell him that he can't lay the basketball in or dunk, he won't be able to get you six baskets if you leave him in there overnight. Shout out to Charles Barkley for that joke. Um, Nikolai Jokic is pretty high, but again, he, he had a huge impact on that Portland Trailblazers team. Um, he got injured. I think this might, that might be a little too high. I wouldn't have him over Rudy Gobert yet. Uh, Marcus Saul, maybe you could make a case that he should be 90 because of his passing abilities. Marcus Saul aging is going to be interesting. Carl Anthony Towns is 91. DeMarcus Cousins is over him. I'm fine with that. Look, Carl Anthony Towns is young. He's going to get the 2K cover at some point in the future. He'll be over DeMarcus Cousins in the future. I'm fine with that. Let's go to another category. Let's go shooting guards, right? So at the bottom, we got Chris Middleton at 81. Dwayne Wade second uh, to, to last in shooting guards in the top 10 at 80 at uh, 82. So he's number nine. Avery Bradley's number eight at 83. At number seven, we got Devin Booker at 85. Number six, we got CJ McCullum at 86. At number five, we got Bradley Bill at 87. At number four, we got DeMar DeRozan at uh, 89. At, at number three, we got Carl, uh, excuse me, Clay Thompson at 90. Uh, two, we got Jimmy Butler at 90 as well. And James Harden is five points better than jimmy butler and clay thompson i disagree with the five points better now you could make i don't want to say put boost clay up to 92 93 or jimmy butler up to 92 93 but i don't think james harden should be five points better than them i just disagree with that my opinions on that uh 
and nothing else here just is just a shocker to me bradley bill at 87 is a little high because we'll get to john wall in a second he's over 90 but if you got an 87 and 90 you you should at least be able to get to the conference finals and they lost to boston last year demar derozan at 89 might be a little too high for me as well uh again bradley bill at 87 um i i think i'd take devin booker over him i think devin booker should be higher than bradley bill and demar derozan that's just my opinion he did put up 70 points in the game and i don't think De demar derozan could ever do that uh, or bradley bill could ever do that for that matter um Dwayne wade at 82 he's just going backwards man every year it's just gonna get worse and worse next year Dwayne wade will be in the 70s and then an overall and that just sounds crazy to put in perspective uh wow I guess that's a standout stare. And I'm not too disappointed in this. I think you hit it on the head with Jimmy Butler and Clay around 90. I get that. Uh, we, we don't see a, everything out of Clay because he plays with so many superstars. But to still grab that 90 overall, I think he's fine there. That That's not that big of a snub. Uh, let's go to the power four position yet. And there's some things I disagree with this one. All right. At number 10, we got Zach Randolph at 80. And him and Dirk Nowitzki are tied at 80. I think Zebo might be a little better than Dirk at this given time. Jabari's at uh, 81 at number 8. He just needs to stay healthy at number 7. LaMarcus Aldridge comes in at 85 overall. Chris Stops Porzingis comes in at 6. I think he's a little too low at 86. Paul Millsap comes in at 5 at 87. Kevin Love at 4 at 87 as well. And Blake Griffin at 87 as well at number 3. So Blake, Kevin Love, and Paul Millsap are essentially all tied. And then at number two, we got Draymond Green at 88. And at one, Anthony Davis is six points higher than second best. He's at 94. Um, I'm fine with, with Anthony Davis being six points higher than Draymond Green. I don't know if uh, Draymond should be second. Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Let Draymond be second. He does do a lot on the basketball court. You can understand why that um, puts him at a good rating, right? Uh, but... Blake Griffin at the number three. I'm sorry. He's not an 87 overall to me. I, I just don't see that anymore. Uh, the brother's jump shot is it's, it's, it's just not that consistent. He's not the dunker that he once was. He has no three-point shot. His passing ability is okay when it's live to DeAndre Jordan. And, I mean, this is a make-or-break year for Blake Griffin. We're going to see him uh, get really get better or, or get worse. There's no in-between. There's no consistent, right? Chris Paul's not passing you the ball or setting you up on offense anymore. You didn't want, like Chris Paul. You got your wish. It's you and DeAndre. Uh, I just want to see Blake stay healthy and be a leader. I don't know if he can do that. And um, I, I, him, Kevin Love, both of these guys are in a, in a very awkward position. I, I, Kevin Love, I, I get the 87. I'm fine with Kevin Love being 87. Paul Millsout, man. Look, man, you, when you talk about closer to 90, I expect these guys to be able to uh, at least get these teams to the second round of the playoffs. Again, Paul Millsap's a really good player. 87's uh, maybe a couple points too high. I might have him at 85. I think Porzingis should be over Blake, Kevin Love, and Paul Millsap. Uh, at 7-3, he's more valuable to his team, to me, than these other guys are to their team. Or He's shown that in, in last year. Um, he can space the court with the three, uh, his dunking ability. He actually has some good length to get into the rim. I, I think Porzingis is better than these guys, and I think it'll show this season. But I, I get it, man. The Knicks didn't get to the playoffs, and if you're going to have 280 guys in Melo and Porzingis, they got to be able to get to the playoffs. I, I, I get that. I'm, I, I understand 2K's stance. Let's go small forwards, and then let's go point guards. Well, let's go point guards. Uh, point guards, we got Kimball Walker at 86 at number 10. Conley a point ahead of him at 87 at number 9. Kyle Lowry tied with Conley at 87. That would be the number 8 guy. Uh, Damian Lillard and Isaiah Thomas come in at 89. That would be 7 and 6. John Wall's number 5 on the list at 90. Kyrie at 90 as well, but he's over John Wall on this list, so he's number 4. Chris Paul at 91. Number 3 on the list, uh, Steph Curry. And Russell Westbrook both tied at 94. Russell Westbrook on the list is slated over Steph Curry. I, yeah, I get it. I get that because it's what Russell Westbrook sees in Encompass. Again, we're talking about Raiden's here. His rebounding rating is obviously higher than Steph Curry's. Um, 
you, 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 I, I get why he's there, but I think I look at Steph as somebody who should be in the 95, 96 range. You got to believe if Kevin Durant isn't on the Golden State Warriors, Steph's rating is higher than that. You just got to believe that. That's the effect of having somebody as Kevin, like Kevin Durant on your team. Other things, I don't think Chris Paul should be 91 now. Um, you got James Harden, who I said is 95. I don't think Chris Paul's a 91 overall. He's definitely not better than Kyrie Irving at this point in their careers. I'm sorry, man. That's not true. Kyrie should be 92 to me. I think Kyrie should feel snubbed. He should be 92. John Wall at 90, I'm, I'm cool with that. Isaiah at 89, I thought he was an interesting guy. Uh, but he was like, what, number four, number five in the MVP race last year. Damian Little at 89. Look, man, I, I'm going to start having to trend down on Damian Little if he can't get this team. Uh, I, Damian Little is an interesting interesting one, man, because him and CJ McCullum, CJ's 86. They got to be able to get better than the eighth seed in the Western Conference. They got to find a way. And Nikolai Jokic will be there, and he'll be healthy this year. They got to find a way to, to improve this team dramatically this season. Um Mike Conley's better than Kemba Walker. I think Mike Conley's better than Kyle Lowry. I wouldn't have Kyle Lowry in the top 10 point guards. I'm sorry, man. Did he put up like two or four points in the playoff game against Cleveland in the, uh, in the last year in the first round? Or was that the second round or whatever? I'm sorry, man. That, that, that can't be the case. Kyle Lowry's not a top 10 point guard in the NBA to me. I put Lonzo over Kyle Lowry before I put Kyle Lowry in that com conversation. Uh, Kyle Lowry's not a top 10 point guard in the NBA. I'm sorry. That, that, that's not true. He's not a top 10 point guard. Anyways, let's go to the last position. Let's go to small forward, and we'll have the highest two overalls in the game. Actually, the highest three overalls in the game will be at small forward position. Let's do it. At 10, we got Daniel Gallinari. He's now a clipper now, right? Harrison Barnes at 81 as well. So that's 10-9. Carmelo Anthony, wow, going backwards, man, again, just like D-Wade. The number eight small forward at 84. Andrew Wiggins is now over Carmelo Anthony at 86. Gordon Hayward. At 88 over Andrew Wiggins. I get that. I, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo is three points better than Gordon Hayward. That sounds about right at 91. Paul George is 91. Tied with Giannis Antetokounmpo as well. I think Paul George might be a point or two better than Giannis. I might have him at 92. Uh, if that were me, Paul George, yeah, he's, he's better than Giannis Antetokounmpo still right now. Giannis' is ceiling is higher, but right now Paul George is better than Giannis by at least a point or two. Kawhi at 95, nothing there. I, I think that's right. I think he he's definitely still under KD and, and LeBron to me. 95 is right. Kevin Durant, this is interesting. At 96, so one point better than Kawhi. And then LeBron's at 97, so KD's one point under LeBron. LeBron's still the best player in the game. That's interesting. I, I'm fine with LeBron still being the best in the game. I still believe he's the best in the game. KD has more to work with. But that's got to be tough, man. KD made a strong case to be the number one guy in the, on this list. I mean, he did hit the game winning shot over LeBron James in game three. He did win finals MVP, even though LeBron averaged a triple-double. That's tough. If I tell you one thing. If Kevin Durant can win one more MVP, if he can finals MVP, and LeBron doesn't win like a regular season MVP, and if, if, if the Warriors beat the Cavs again, Next year, Durant should be 97 and LeBron should be 96 or 95, period. If if Kawhi, if he can find a way to get past Golden State, he'll be back and healthy at some point this season. If he can get past Golden State, he should be 96 and Durant should be 95. Simple as that. Um, as a matter of fact, if Kawhi can beat Golden State, he should be the best player on the game, period, because he's playing with less. Those are the NBA 2K ratings. A lot to break down there. That shit has me tired as hell. I'm excited for 2K18. I'll be giving away free copies of the game. Uh, subscribe to my Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, thank y'all so much for the time and support. Man, what do y'all think about these ratings? Talk to me in the comment box below. Did, did 2K get it right, wrong? Tell me what you think about them. So, 2K coming out, what, September 15th, something like that. The, it's, it's coming soon, right? Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. 100K gang, where y'all at? I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.